welcome to Love and Lux. In today's video, I'm going to go over the hot stamping issue that I had. I tried to clean it up a little bit, and I think I fixed it. And I'm going to show you guys how it looks and how I did it. Okay, so the first one we're going to go over is the one for my Victorine wallet. Um, I have used this several times, and so far it's working out pretty good. Um, but I'm going to try to get in. I don't know if I still have any of the before pictures, um, but you can look at the um, boxing for this. The video I did previously, and I went over the hot stamping. So this is what it looks like now. And what I did was I used this tool. This is for um, when you do your nails. Mine is all messed up because I um, my nails aren't done, but I usually do my nails. And all I did was I um, this is something you can get from Amazon. I think it's for your cuticles, but anyways, all I did, you guys, was just kind of like scraped it and kind of cleaned it up. It came off pretty easy. Um, I went like this, like basically. Well, like the sharper part. And then I just scraped it, like around the circle. Because every single letter and every single little dot over here, all of the, they were all touching. So it just looked like one like big mess and I just came in and kind of scraped around it and kind of thinned out the letters a little bit. And yeah, that's what that looks like. I didn't want to bother with trying to go back to the Louis Vuitton store and go back and forth with them um, to get them to fix the hot stamping or maybe just give me another one. So I just, um, yeah, scraped the edges with this basically. This is going to be a really short video. I just want to show you guys an update on um, what it looks like now. So hopefully you guys can see. I'm trying to zoom in. It's not perfect. And I think um, because of the grit, you know, the leather, it has a um, texture to it. So the hot stamping isn't going to be as smooth if you hot stamped it on like a smooth surface. But yeah. So I think it looks pretty decent now. Sorry if you guys hear noise. My husband is um, building something. So <laughs> he's out there sawing away with his little tools. But anyways, yeah. So that's that. And let me show you the other one. This is my um, small ring agenda. And... This is what this one looks like. And I did the same thing. I just used this part of the tool. And then I just scraped away at some of the um, gold foiling. And that's what we're left with. Yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. I'm happy with it. I can deal with it. Let me see if I can get closer. Yeah, so will I get more things hot stamped? Um, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Will I get more things hot stamped? I will, um, depending on what it is, because I don't like to hot stamp everything. Um, but... I think from now on, when I go to get my stuff hot stamped, I'll probably try to go to a different Louis Vuitton store or um, order it online. You know, when you buy your stuff online at the Louis Vuitton website, you can, on the Louis Vuitton um, website when you're buy when you buy it. So, if the item you're buying is available, um, if it's able to be hot stamped, then you can select hot stamping, and it'll show you a preview of what it's going to look like. You approve it, and then. Um, yeah, it takes your stuff a little bit longer to get to you, but at least you know it's going to be right. And that's it. That's all. So that was just an update on these two items, um, the hot stamping issue, and I just kind of cleaned it up and fixed it myself. Okay, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. Other than that, that's it. That's all. Hope you guys liked the video. Bye.